To see the commonalities between accounts, the following flood texts listed in order of writing are from Zia Sudra in Sumerian, Atrahasis in Akkadian, the 11th Tablet of Gilgamesh in for Semitic languages, Genesis 6 through 9, and the account from Babylonian historian Berossus. Knowing the flood was ordered by the council of the gods, Enki warns our flood hero by speaking to the wall of his hut. Side wall, pay attention, it says in Zayasudra. Wall, pay attention from the legend of Gilgamesh. This is an example of what reed huts in southern Iraq look like today, just as they did 5,000 years ago. The 11th Tablet of Gilgamesh and Genesis agree. It was a condition of the heart that led to the flood. When their heart led the great gods to produce the flood in Gilgamesh, every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil, it says in Genesis. Decisions were made. The great gods decided to make a flood in Gilgamesh. God decided to make an end of all flesh, it says in Genesis. And a warning went out. He, Enki, told him of the coming of the flood in Atrahasis. God said to Noah, I will bring a flood in Genesis. And Barossus told the Babylonians, it was Kronos who said mankind would be destroyed by a flood. The means for saving the faithful remnant comes into focus described as the huge boat in Zayasudra. The command is to build a ship in both Atrahasis and Gilgamesh. And God commands Noah to make herself an ark in Genesis. Ten dozen cubits, the height of each of her walls, is the height of it in Gilgamesh. And 300 cubits in Genesis, the breadth of it, 50 cubits. According to the Sumerian version, it was Zayasudra who protected the seed of mankind. Bring into the ship the seed of all life, it says in Gilgamesh, and Genesis desires to keep their seed alive. Like the Absu, you shall roof it in both Atrahasis and Gilgamesh. The Absu is the underground waters. And Genesis says, make a roof for the ark. Pitch I poured into the inside in Gilgamesh. Cover inside and out with pitch in Genesis. Some people scrape pitch off the boat in Berossus. Your family, your relatives, appears in one version of Atrahasis, and he sent his family on board in another version. Into the ship all my family and relatives in Gilgamesh, and come thou and all thy house into the ark in Genesis. Animals which emerge from the earth, it says in Zayasudra, clean animals and of animals that are not clean in Genesis, and put both birds and animals on board in Berossus. Enter the boat and close the boat's door, it says in Atrahasis. I entered the boat and closed the door in Gilgamesh, and they that entered and the Lord shut him in in Genesis. The storm had swept for seven days and seven nights in Zayasudra. For seven days and seven nights came the storm, says Atrahasis. After seven days, the waters of the flood came, it says in Genesis. Consign the peoples to destruction in Atrahasis, all mankind was turned to clay in Gilgamesh, and all flesh died, and every man in Genesis. Below the fountain of the deep was stopped in Atrahasis, the fountains also of the deep were stopped, it says in Genesis. In the film version of Noah, the flood is depicted as a global catastrophe. The fountains of the deep are shown as massive underground water-spewing volcanoes. In Sumerian and Akkadian, the word fountains applies to irrigation equipment, and the deep refers to any body of water, such as a river or canal. It's a direct reference to irrigation. A visitor touring southern Iraq can see fountains of the deep still operating today, irrigating their fields with water from canals just as the Sumerians and Akkadians did thousands of years ago. From the legend of Zayasudra, Zayasudra made an opening in the large boat. I opened the window, it says in Gilgamesh. In Genesis, 
Noah opened the window of the ark, and Barossa says he pried open a portion of the boat. On Mount Nasir, the boat grounded, it says in Gilgamesh. The ark came to rest upon the mountains, says Genesis, and the boat had grounded upon a mountain in Barossus. The dove went out and returned in Gilgamesh. He sent forth the dove, and the dove came back to him in Genesis, and he let out the birds, and they again returned to the ship in Barossus. Then I set forth and set free a raven in Gilgamesh, and he set forth a raven in Genesis. He offered a sacrifice in Gilgamesh. He offered burnt offerings on the altar in Genesis, and he built an altar and sacrificed to the gods in Barossus. The gods smelled the sweet savor in Gilgamesh, and the Lord smelled the sweet savor in Genesis. That I may remember it every day, it says in Atrahasis. I shall remember these days and never forget in Gilgamesh. I shall remember my covenant. I may remember in Genesis. He touched our foreheads to bless us in Gilgamesh. And Genesis says, and God blessed Noah. Go down to dwell with my Lord Ea in Gilgamesh. Noah walked with God in Genesis, and he had gone to dwell with the gods, it says in Barossus. A Sumerian composition includes the following text as spoken by the benevolent god Enki. After the assembly had made the flood sweep over, it was the seed of mankind that we were to destroy. Among us, I was the only one for life, and he remained alive. Zayasudra kept the name of humankind alive. It would be difficult to argue that these extra biblical texts are not related to Genesis. Opinions vary as to why they do. Some will argue that Genesis was composed in Babylon during the Babylonian captivity from 597 to 538 BC, and the Hebrew scribes simply borrowed wholesale from existing Mesopotamian literature. This view also became popular due to the prevailing belief that during the exodus from Egypt time frame, the ability to compose such a text was lacking. With the discovery of the Amarna tablets in 1887 written in Akkadian and dated to the reigns of Amenhotep III, who reigned from 1402 to 1364 BC, and Amenhotep IV, who ruled from 1350 to 1334 BC, this argument has been disproven. Israelite scribes certainly had the ability to write, and they had access to the great libraries and literature while in Egypt. We also have no idea how much literature was available at that time and was lost during these turbulent periods when wars raged, cities sacked, and libraries destroyed. 